Is it possible to drive an electric car, this Tesla, from Edinburgh to London with one single charge, i.e. not stopping on the way for any charge? I don't think it's ever been done before. It's very easy to stop on the way and charge. We've done that loads of times. One charge is plenty and usually bladder range easily needs more. But I want to do this for the challenge. I, like I said, I don't think it's actually been done before. It's just over 400 miles. Edinburgh to London. Let's give this a try and see if it can be done. Okay, so I need to top up the charge, but why are we doing this? Well, I wasn't planning it at all this morning. I just came to pick up this Model S Long Range, which I just bought to put in our showroom, but I was most of the way here. I was thinking of what we could do to film the exceptional range of this car. This has got the longest range of any electric vehicle in production today. Um, and I was thinking, let's do 300 miles, and that's quite easy. That's what we can do day to day with these cars now, 300 miles. So let's push the boundaries a bit, 400 miles. And then the obvious 400 mile journey is Edinburgh to London. It's quite a famous route, it's just over 400 miles. And there's a couple of different routes you can take, but they're usually just over 400 miles. So I thought, let's give this a try. It could even be a record, I don't know. So here I am now. I'm at uh, Edinburgh Tesla Service Centre. I'm obviously just topping up the charge a little bit here to get it right to 100% and brim it. I'm uh, Edinburgh Airport is just over there, about one mile as the crow flies, and the city centre just a little bit further along. And I think what I'll try and do is drive to um, either the north side of London or maybe London Heathrow Airport. So Edinburgh Airport to London Heathrow Airport on a single charge, an electric car without stopping for recharging. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So I'll have a look at the map in a minute, but I think that's, again, going to be just over 400 miles, whichever way you go. So let's give it a try. And the reason, it just, I'm not, I'm not a professional video maker at all, but I make use of opportunities because I'm often collecting, delivering cars, driving testers around and such like. And this was just one of those days, like I say, it wasn't planned. I collected this car from the northwest of England, but the conditions today, there's no wind, which is really unusual. It's not too warm, it's not too cold. So conditions for an electric car are pretty favorable. This isn't gonna be a real world test. We know that you're not gonna get this maximum range in the kind of driving at 70 miles per hour all the time. But it's a good test, don't you think? And I think if a car can do this journey without stopping, London to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to London, over 400 miles. At the end of the day, that is what test a rate this car can do. We know that it's really hard to get to rated distances, but that's what it is rated to do. So I'm gonna give it a damn good try and try and get there. Um, it's gonna be a long day long evening into the night obviously i've got to drive a bit slower than normally would um i can probably have the air conditioning off for a bit but we'll see as we get going so wish me luck i'm gonna finish charging have a look at the map plan a bit of a route and then crack on with it okay so where are we at we're just topping off the charge here now so 10 minutes to get to 100 percent we're showing 363 miles so i think this is the plan here edinburgh where we are now to London Heathrow Airport. So Edinburgh Airport, London Airport, look at that. Exactly 400 miles, 400 miles. Now, 364 miles of range, 400 miles to do. So if I just drive out of car expects, it'd be minus 12%, I wouldn't make it. But about 400 miles is what Tesla do put as a rated range, 100% down to when the car literally can't drive anymore with some very efficient driving conditions. Now. Let's just show you here. I'm going to go down the west coast is what the car's saying. It's a nice round 400 miles. So that's the goal. Let's do that. Let's go through some of the car settings. So this has got the adaptive suspension that the Raven has. This is a 2020 long range. So it has the newer, uh, more efficient motor, an adaptive suspension. Um, and it's a 100 kilowatt hour battery, by the way. So let's put it in comfort and default the ride height to low. The lower it is, the more aerodynamic it is. Um, I'm going to keep that on that regen braking. Well, let's keep it a standard. You can have it a standard low. It doesn't matter too much. It's just how it feels on the motorway. And I can switch this when I'm just cruising. Some people say low regen is better on the motorway, but I'm used to balancing the throttle. I'll put range mode on, which again, just helps with efficiency. But given the temperatures today, I think I can probably live with the climate control off for most of it, which will help with efficiency quite a lot. We've got autopilot. Um, so those systems are on there. In the vehicle here, um, yeah, that's all fine. Display, well, I tend to prefer it in 
percentage so we're at 99 percent now which was given a distance of 364 miles so let's put it in percentage we're nearly there we can go soon okay that's it charging complete it spent a while doing that last bit just sort of cell balancing but it's completed charging now i me just show you my phone here so charging complete 100 percent and it's 4:24 in the afternoon let's do this okay charges in the dock there we go i'm departing just confirm the time what's the time for me the time is 4:25. 4:25. and where am i just to prove i'm not lying edinburgh, edinburgh. very good can i use this in the video very good thank you very much wish me luck authentication required there we go let's go come on well let me drive that's not in plan is it Let's unlock it with the app then. Two thousand years later. Oh, there we go. It's woken up now. Right, four twenty-seven. To close his windows for aerodynamic. That was an aeroplane going overhead from Edinburgh Airport. And that's the office calling. Hi, Sophie. Can I call you back in a minute? Just literally departing Edinburgh. I've travelled 300 metres and I'm in a traffic jam. <laughs> this is how far I've come before I've hit traffic. You can see now because of the traffic, it's actually rerouting me 418 miles. So the target goes up. Okay, let's we'll see what we can do. Maybe this isn't going to go to plan after all. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Rush hour traffic. As I'm stationary, I can open the window and let some air in because the sun is quite warm. But as soon as we're moving, I will close that to keep the aerodynamics of the car. Anyway, let's hope the rest of it's a bit smoother. I'm a bit of a nightmare already. It's taken 10 minutes just to kind of get out onto the open road a little bit. But I'm just starting to break out of the city now. But my average watt hours per mile, 560 in 1.3 miles that it's taken me to kind of wiggle out onto the uh, main roads but hopefully now we can sort of settle down into a sort of steady cruise and it will balance out and I'll start getting an idea of really just what I can achieve. Um, it's brilliantly warm, uh, it's been really cold at nights but at the moment the car is reading is 21 degrees Celsius. I don't know off the top of my head what that is in Fahrenheit somebody will have to do that I'm afraid sorry US viewers um, actually it's dropped now 20 degrees Celsius it feels like it's probably about 16 17 outside so I think it's just where the car was sat and it's warm but we're now on the M8 coming out of Edinburgh heading west so we're going on the west coast route just because it's kind of consistent smooth uh, road it still kept this routing that's a little bit longer 480 miles of the trip because there's kind of a roads have started getting congested with the uh, rush hour traffic but if we just sit steady on a cruise hopefully we can settle the economy down and uh, give us a good chance of making this so i'll keep you updated as we go of course temperatures are expected to probably fall quite a lot this evening so that could hinder i could be sitting here really cold let's find out and uh, see how we go uh, i've got the sun on me the car's still really 19 degrees outside <laughs> it's pretty warm in here now because i've got the air conditioning off to give us the best chance here i don't think the air conditioning uses a particularly large amount but um i want to kind of get into a pattern uh, it's sort of settled in where i know kind of what i can achieve and then i can start turning bits on or speed up what i don't want to do is go silly slow on the motorway it's just dangerous i'd have to just call it quits if i can't do that but i've kind of pulled up behind a, a truck the traffic's a little bit heavy anyway i'm cruising at 56 miles per hour and my economy's starting to come down now 282 watt hours per mile after 12 miles still got better to do but it is starting to fall as we get into a steady cruise now i'm hoping you can see from this window here there's a whole lot of wind turbines and they started turning now and they're all facing this way so i'm actually driving into a breeze now 
It's great to see these. Obviously, these are producing electricity that I've probably just put in this car. The mixture of uh, green energy in this country is increasing. It needs to be 100%, of course. But the old arguments, well, you've got to burn coal to make electricity to drive an electric car. What's the point? Well, that's all nonsense. Complete rubbish. Um, so increasingly, we've got more and more green energy. But yeah, as I still head slightly westbound before I can actually head south, just to keep on this kind of steady motorway journey, I'm actually going slightly into a little bit of wind at the moment. So due to the traffic, it's rerouted a longer route. The wind's against me a little bit. So far, I'm not reaching the economy I need to reach. So it's not a brilliant start so far. Hopefully, uh, it will improve. I'll keep trying. See what I get out of the car, if nothing else. Get the, the most I can out of the car in the, today's conditions. Tomorrow will be a different day. And that could affect everything completely, but it's about what this car can do on this day. My back is wet, my legs are wet with sweat. It's a good job you can't smell for the camera. I'm going to have to give myself some air conditioning. I'm going to have to. I'm just too hot. I don't want to. Oh, oh, that's beautiful stuff. Tell me when air conditioning was invented and who did it. God, that's good. Doesn't it make all the difference in the world? I'm going to treat myself to a minute of air conditioning and off it goes again. Can't have it using too much energy. Go, how apt is that? Today is Earth Day. And um, just listening to the news there with the, the summit and what people want to do and how apt to try and do a test like this and show exactly what electric cars these days can do. Okay, this car is kind of right at the pinnacle of where we're at today, but it's changing so quickly. Range is increasing, charging speeds are increasing. We know already these long journeys are so easy. The old arguments of, I want a car that can do hundreds of miles without stopping, and then I think about electric cars. It's out of date, it's silly. So, um, yeah, Earth Day. There we go. Didn't even realise that until this afternoon. Should have known, shouldn't I, really? Should have said, I'm doing this because it's Earth Day. Damn. Maybe I'll restart the video. I don't know if you can see from here, but um, that means I've used 10% of the battery and I've covered 39.7 miles. That's not enough. It's not enough. I need to get 41 miles out of every 10%. It's a total 410 ish miles to do the journey. I've averaged 224 watt hours per mile. And that, however, is enough in theory because that's more than four miles per kilowatt hour times by 100, should be 400 miles. So we're there or thereabouts. I'm sat behind a truck, which you can probably see on this display as well, uh, doing the legal limit for trucks in the UK of 56 miles per hour. I've covered 60 miles. Got 85% left. Still got 358 miles to go. So, shows here the current path though, improving what the car would expect. So, on the current trajectory, I would arrive with minus 1%. So, even traveling at the moment 50 60 miles per hour, I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, I do have some ventilation on just because it's pretty warm otherwise air conditioning itself is off but I'm allowing it to just blow cool air through so it's certainly going to be very very tight I'm not quite there yet I have to try and find some efficiency gains maybe a more aerodynamic truck give you a bit of an update I've just covered 101 miles now and I have 77% battery left so on target really the car still wants me to stop it says estimated 0% charging needed to reach destination but if we do the maths if I can keep it that simple 100 miles I had needed to have at least 75% I've got 77 there's not a great deal in it but I'm cruising along I'm doing 58 miles an hour behind the kind of trucks and you know so it's between 55 and 60 miles an hour ventilation on um, without the air conditioning that's turned off but just ventilation on it has cooled down to 15 degrees celsius outside now there's a slight breeze but sort of basically no wind really um so it's going all right so far it's just taking a long time because you're going a bit slowly but i think we stand a reasonable chance sunset 
Lake District, 20 past seven in the evening, 66% battery, 270 miles to go, arriving with minus 4%. But it's very pretty. I don't know how much of it you can see from the camera, but this area, the Lake District, is stunning. And especially on an evening like this, it is beautiful. What a lovely, lovely drive this is. Past the halfway mark, as in, covered 210 miles. I have 210 miles to go. How am I going? Obviously, I need 50% battery at least. Well, got 53%. Heating's on, headlights are on, losing the sun now, radio's on. So I'm not trying too hard. I think we're okay with this. And I'm just cruising along at between 55 and 60 miles an hour. Uh, actually about 60 most of the time. Feeling reasonably confident. I've got to keep an eye though because it's going to be getting colder and colder. The heat, headlights on. Yeah, you know, we're going to be using a bit more energy. So it's not quite a done deal yet. It could all go very wrong at last minute. <laughs> we'll find out. Right, so I've covered now 296.4 miles, so nearly 300 miles. I'm just coming past Birmingham in the Midlands and my I've set a destination now to be um, Tesla West Drayton, their, their head office and um, that's next to London Heathrow and it's inside the N25 so it's definitely London and now I'm due to get there with 2% so it's looking okay. I've got heating on, got music on, I'm not trying too hard again 55 60 miles an hour going past a few of the trucks and just being quite sensible but relaxing autopilot on uh, most of the time and that's that's good so it's all looking quite good to be honest however the temperature is falling now so it's 11 degrees celsius it's due to keep dropping so my only concern is really you know i'm not gonna have to turn the heating off to sit here and and try and make it happen but i'm, I'm fairly confident of making this happen now um, but fingers crossed. In the meantime, this Model S Long Range Raven 2020 car has now covered 8,300 miles. And it really reminds me, um, well, it hasn't really changed much. I started driving the Model S, my first one was in 2015, and it hasn't really changed much since. It has just been tweaked over the years, and it's just better and better and better. Another test has just gone past me in orange. Um, this one's got the adaptive damping, which I have to say I've got set to comfort, and that's proven to be very good. And it's just a very nice place to be, good stereo. It's more of a refined cruise than the Model 3, so I'm very much enjoying it. In fact, I can see myself keeping this car for a little bit. It's meant to go in the showroom, but I don't know. I can picture myself keeping this for a little bit. No doubt it's the best one yet. Can you imagine next year, the new test that it comes out? what that's going to be like well in America you'll be getting there very soon hopefully so it's getting better and better so anyway I'm going to carry on save a bit of battery for the end just to try and prove that I've made it which I hope I will but it's not quite definite yet could have hit traffic we'll see I'm on the final stretch of the journey now really so 90 odd miles to go 90 odd miles of range I think I've got a couple in the bag I'm cruising at 60 miles per hour on autopilot it's now 10 39 in the evening so motorways are pretty quiet so i'm doing 60 miles per hour which is 97 kilometers per hour by the way so um that's been a pretty consistent cruise speed now the only thing i would say temperature temperature has dropped away it was down to five degrees celsius just now which is 43 degrees fahrenheit so i do have the heating on i'm in range mode but i've got the heating on I listen to music, so I'm trying to stay comfortable. Just keeping an eye whether the colder temperature is going to affect my range too much. In which case, as ever, just pull back the speed a little bit. But I'm going to try and hold this 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers an hour for the rest of the M40 motorway down into London. The difference temperature makes. We've just gone right to the end of this journey now, so I'm down to 6% left. You can see since the left, I averaged 209 watt hours from mile, but it's got colder and colder. It's 5 degrees Celsius. And you can see now, the last 30 miles, my consumption has gone up. So it's now 240 watt hours from mile. So right at the last 
hurdle. I'm cutting it really fine. I've got 11 miles uh, still to go through town to get to Tesla West Drayton, 6%. So it's going to be really, really tight. It'd be a shame if it all comes apart at the end, wouldn't it, really? That's it for motorways now. We're inside the N25, we're in London. Just gotta to get to that charger, so it's now through London at uh, eight in minutes past midnight. Feet, keep left to stay on Park Road. Now keep left to stay off. On. on a long night. It's a shame when things don't go quite to plan, isn't it? I'm now at the side of the road. So, I was prepared to sacrifice speed, have the heating off, have music off, have the screen off, to try and make this journey. And uh, sometimes things just don't go to plan, do they? Because I've got 4%, the car drives fine, and I'm at the chargers. Easy peasy, <laughs> no problem at all. So, what I've done here, I'll pull the camera around to show you before. I plug in. So this is Tesla West Rayton in West London, just next to Heathrow Airport. This is their kind of UK uh, registered address and head office. Let's uh, pull this camera down and show you what we've got, shall we? I'd love for anybody to try and beat this record. So I hope you can see here, seven hours, 53 minutes, of driving 421.1 miles covered averaging 208 watt hours per mile now I did it in one go <laughs> just to add extra bladder stress I did have to pull over at one point and a uh, bottle of apple juice over there is not apple juice but I didn't want that timer to um, to go because uh, when you get out of the car and back in it then lose how long I've been driving for and the reality was that was all pretty easy <clears throat> after the first sort of third of the journey quarter of the journey I was quite comfortable with the range the only thing was it did get colder um, and so I was thinking well, I'm going to have to turn the heating off Whoops. but I've had the heating on I've had the music on it's nice and warm in here um, so average speed I haven't worked that out yet but um, if you do a little bit of speed equals distance over time, I'm sure we can work that out and put it in the uh, comments and description. 421.1 miles in seven hours, 54 minutes. So Edinburgh to London in under eight hours. That's Edinburgh, nope. That's Edinburgh Airport to London Heathrow Airport, which is just basically one mile from here in under eight hours. So I've got 4% left. So based on what this car's been doing um, efficiency wise without any contingency so that's used 87.6 kilowatt hours 100 kilowatt hour battery maybe a little bit of degradation maybe not quite all usable but we'd be pretty close we've still got a few kilowatt hours in there so what would this do probably still do another 20 miles maybe 30 miles with a sort of contingency i could get this car 450 miles and Yes, it took a bit of caution. Yes, it took a little bit of effort. Let me just turn this fan down in case it's making a noise. Um, it did take a bit of effort, but not by much. I could have had everything off, waited for warmer temperatures. It could have been even better than that. But actually, it's done pretty well. I mean, Edinburgh to London, non-stop, no charging. I don't think you can argue with that. Now, don't try this at home. I'm a professional idiot. I drive a lot and I've got an extended bladder. So the reality is you would normally stop. I did count, by the way, as we were going along. <clears throat> I passed what I think is 15 supercharger locations on the way here. So there's 15 opportunities where I could stop for a quick wee. There, got out of the car, supercharged for 10 minutes, topped it up. Um, so 15, that's just Tesla. There's all the other chargers as well, but I went past 15 just Tesla supercharger locations on the way here as well. So 
long distance travel it's not a thing of the future it's here and now it hasn't cost me anything because i've got some free supercharging miles on my account and if you look in the description below if you're thinking of buying a tesla click through the link and you'll get some free charging as well um what an incredible car uh, it's been comfortable i mean i've been in the car for eight hours i haven't got out of this car for eight hours now and actually i've been fine it's uh what's the time 24 minutes past midnight here now and i feel absolutely fine so here we are in london let's just zoom out to show you probably could have made it even easier actually just sort of get into the outer edge of london the m25 probably would have counted um this is tennis round so here's london this is the m25 orbital road and we are here next to heathrow airport to get to central london here i do have the range i could go right into central london now um but it's been a long enough day as it is it's half past midnight and by the way <laughs> i still have to drive over 100 miles just to get back home and then i need to do a school run and be in the office in the morning really i've still got to get down here yet so i'm going to do a bit of a charge now and then continue driving but what a pleasure so um <clears throat> i think we'll sign off for now hopefully i've documented everything for the proof there 25 past midnight 421.1 miles 4 percent of range still remaining 208 watt hours per mile 87 kilowatt hours used edinburgh to london in under eight hours there we go hope everyone's pleased with that i'm quite pleased it has been a long day but it's been totally worth it i think it's fantastic thank you all for watching um please like and follow our facebook and instagram pages we'll put little bits of extra posts up there all the time as well um if you're feeling generous check out in the description below my uh, favorite charity seesaw feel free to make a little donation as a reward for all my efforts perhaps here um, but it's been a pleasure i loved it i want to get some charge and go home bye for now Um, just as a quick follow-up really I've stopped on these chargers here for 27 minutes and these are only 130 kilowatt chargers here this car can take more than that but um, they're 130 kilowatt chargers but nonetheless in 27 minutes the car is now back up to 57 percent so that means in under half an hour of charging not even on the fastest charge this car can take um, we've got another 200 miles of range if you wanted it to be not bad is it not bad at all so um anyway i need another 100 110 because i'm heading off home so that's more than enough for me one o'clock in the morning time for me to drive back bye 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 it's good since my car out the bottle Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh.